first met her in school, so we weren't dating, but uh, she definitely had my eye when I first met her in school. We just hung out as friends um, then, kind of groups and socials and stuff like that. And then we kind of went off and did our own thing. I went to play hockey, she went to school. And then when we came back to town, uh, saw her around some more and saw her at the gym and just kept thinking about her more and more every time I saw her and eventually asked her on a date, went to the movies. And All right. Three years later, now here we are. <laughs> when I first met him, I thought he was like so cute and good looking, but I still tell him this today, like I thought he was like like strong and confident and that's like what I liked about him. He's so like attentive and caring and like knows me exactly better than anyone else. I'm so excited for forever. I'm so excited for like having a family and you know, who knows, but our plan is to grow up in this city that we both grew up in and I'm excited, yeah, just for everything we've got a good thing going. Pretty cool uh, idea. Just husband and wife after today, and even yesterday you said this is the last time you'd be a duel. So it's a, uh, it's pretty surreal. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. I was a little nervous this morning about the weather and just everything else. And excited and make sure the last little details are done. And, but good. I'm excited. Excited. It's gonna be a good day. Love is far bigger than a feeling. Love is something that decides to put the good of the other before your own good. And you are going to get the chance every single day of your lives to show that to one another. All of God's people get the chance to reflect God's love to one another in ways of putting the good of somebody else in front of them. But maybe no more place on this earth is it more powerfully seen than in a marriage relationship. chooses the other and you are going to commit to one another in just a few minutes here today. And as we stand before God and before all of these witnesses, may God richly bless, not just today, but each day of your lives as you go through this next chapter together. Jessica, you are my best friend and my greatest love. You've inspired me to grow, to become stronger, kinder, more gentle. Your beautiful smile lightens up the days together, and I feel so lucky and grateful that you will be with me, spend the rest of our lives together. You're the most generous, loving, and unselfish person I know. And today, I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to be patient, understanding, and forgiving to you. I promise to love you for who you are, and for who you grow to be. I promise to, keep, promise to keep communication strong in our relationship. And I promise to share my whole heart with you and to remember to show you how deeply I care for you no matter the challenge that may come our way. And I promise to never forget this commitment I make to you today. Dan, I love you more and more every day, week, and month that we are together. And today, surrounded by our closest friends and family, I choose you to be my spouse for the rest of our lives. Your strength and confidence makes me feel protected and safe, and being wrapped in your arms is one of my favorite places to be. 
I promise not to take those moments for granted. <laughs> and to be strong with you and for you when challenges come our way. I admire the immense care and loyalty you have for our families, friends, and me. And I promise to have and show the same care and loyalty to you, our relationship, and our future family. As your wife, I promise to respect you and to be faithful to you always. I promise to be open and honest with you and support you in your goals. I promise to be understanding and forgiving because neither one of us is perfect. I vow to show you my love daily and to promise to continue to nurture and strengthen our relationship through honesty, faithfulness, and patience. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love today and for the rest of our lives. Now that Dan and Jessica have committed to each other before God and before all of you, it is my great privilege to now pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dan, you may kiss your Now, dear friends in Christ, it is my great privilege to announce to all of you, Mr. and Mrs. Dan and Jessica Fraser. definitely made me stronger as a person and he would never let anything happen to me growing up he was always the protecting type the only person he could pick on me was him but in all honesty he'd do anything for anyone in his life he truly cares about everyone ladies and gentlemen let's finally give this gorgeous couple the toast they deserve raise your glasses to honor my brother my best friend and his beautiful wife Jess to Dan and Jess Jessica, you are the overachiever in the family. You are intelligent, motivated, hardworking. I'm the crier. <laughs> Caring, and now you are the most beautiful bride. You have been my best friend, and I could not... <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better sister.
she wrote it. I did not. No. You look absolutely stunning tonight. And I can't thank you enough for all the hard work you put in today. You're trying to look amazing, and I'm so grateful for you. I love you. Now I ask you all to stand and cheers to my beautiful wife. Thank you all, and we hope you enjoy your evening. Cheers.